Today I'm listening to Mexican recording superstar Juan Gabriel for the very first time. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. If you're looking for a resource that will help you transition out of lockdown into a new season in your life, I hope you'll get my free resource, Come Alive, five ways to unlock your purpose and take back your life. I made it in response to your requests. You can get all the details in the description box below. Now let's get started. Juan Gabriel is an artist who has been on my request list ever since I did a video of Luis Miguel's La Bikina. I made the note there in that video how much I love mariachi music, how much I love um, Mexico and the music of Mexico, and all of you just went crazy asking for Juan Gabriel. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to finally get around to listening to him. Let's not delay this any longer. Let's dig in. No sabía de tristezas Ni de lágrimas ni nada Que me hicieran llorar Yo sabía de caricias de ternura Porque a mí desde pequeño Eso me enseñó mamá Eso me enseñó mamá Eso y muchas cosas más Yo jamás sufrí Yo jamás lloré Right off the bat, I'm really loving his tone. It's really beautiful, very rich and caramely and just lovely to listen to. There's nothing more beautiful than the resonance of a classical guitar, which is what is being played behind him right now, that uh, kind of gut string sound. It just has such a resonance, it's so beautiful, and it's just so much fun, the the culture that I'm seeing here, the way he's dressed, and it's all very spangly and sparkly, and yeah, it's just, it's just fun. It's just really great. It, this, the thing is so crazy to me about me learning about all of your favorite artists is this man had like 60 million, he sold 60 million records worldwide. He was a very, very famous singer-songwriter. And it's just incredible how, because of the language difference, this person never came across my path. I never listened to him. And so I'm so grateful that I'm getting to have this opportunity now because it's just widening my world. And even though he passed away in 2016, it shows that his music lived on. He has a legacy, and to be able to honor that today as I'm watching, it, that means something to me as a musician as well. So I'm really, really grateful that I'm getting to have this experience. So thank you for requesting it. Yo era muy feliz. Yo vivía, yo vivía muy bien. Hey. Yo vivía tan distinto, algo hermoso, algo divino, lleno de felicidad Yo sabía de alegrías, la belleza de la vida Pero no de soledad Pero no de soledad De eso y muchas cosas más Yo jamás sufrí Yo jamás lloré Yo era y muy feliz Yo vivía, yo vivía muy bien Okay, wow. His upper notes are so incredibly clear, so beautiful. And he sings with such feeling and emotion such intensity in both spaces, the, the very quiet lower register, but also in the more belting upper 
uh, mixy belt register as well. Really, really beautifully done. And uh, it's there's something just so touching to me about this. Again, I I cried on the mariachi song with Luis Miguel La Piquina um, because I love mariachi music, and it's probably an Americanized version that I really love. But I find mariachi music to be very celebratory and festive and it just makes my heart happy but I also have a sentimentality about it so I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes. I'm hoping that all of these amazing musicians who are lined up in their spangly sparkles are going to wow me here in a second. I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> Te conocí Y la vida con dolor No te miento, fui feliz Aunque con muy poco amor Y muy tarde comprendí Okay, gosh, I gotta stop. I'm stopping probably in the worst places, but this is so fun. It makes me kind of want to dance to it. I don't know. <laughs> Hasta que te conocí. It means until I met you. Some of the lyrics say, I didn't know what sadness means. I didn't know what tears mean. These tears that make me cry. I didn't know. I knew only about affection, tenderness, because ever since I was little, that's what my mother taught me. That's what my mother taught me. This and much more. And then it gets into, I never suffered, I never cried, I was so happy, my life was great. And it goes on and on, until I met you. <laughs> I started to see life with pain. Oh my goodness, wow. So let's get back into this and see where this song takes us next. Hasta que te conocí Comencé a vivir la vida con dolor No te miento, fui feliz Aunque con muy poco amor Y muy tarde comprendí Que no te debí amar Porque ahora pienso en ti Porque ahora La, 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 la. Very cool uh, interval work there in the melody line. La, 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 la. That takes some skill, and he looks so relaxed while he's singing. He's singing at a very high intensity, but just looks really at peace <laughs> as he's doing so. Very, very interesting, really lovely voice. I'm really enjoying his tone and of course just the whole vibe. It's just fantastic. It's really taking me on an adventure. I'm feeling, I always want a margarita when I listen to this music. Is that bad? Leave a comment down below. You can, you can judge me. It's okay. It's all right. Mucho más que ayer, pero mucho más.
I've got to stop. I'm having fun. Wow. I'm really interested in the fact that the audience is so quiet. Normally somebody's out there doing woo or something like that. And I feel like they're really giving him space to sing. And then he'll, once he does a little something, he's dancing around, then you'll kind of hear the audience. But wow, they're very, very reverent. They're very respectful of him as an artist and giving him space with their silence. Sometimes that is just such a lovely thing and it's very nice for me, listening to this live performance, being able to really hear him without the audience interfering too much, like some of my Luis Miguel videos. You know, it's, it's just very hard for me to focus when I've got people wooing in my ears. Wooing, no wooing, we don't want wooing. Wooing can mean a couple of things in the English language. I actually don't even know if the way I'm using it right now is a correct way, right? So forgive me if that's confusing to my non-English speakers. like a Las Vegas type show. It's just so flashy and there was a minute there that I was thinking of Elvis actually, the way he was kind of strutting around on stage. I would love to know more about Juan Gabriel. So if he is one of your favorites, please tell me why. What do you love about him? What do you know about him? Why are you attracted to this particular singer? Leave a comment down below and educate the Voice Love Company audience because you guys make this experience so rich. I so appreciate you. Porque no te quiero ver Y es que tú fuiste mala Si muy mala conmigo Ay, por eso no te quiero No te quiero ver nada más Si ahora quiero que me digas Si valió no la pena Ay, haberte conocido Porque no te quiero ver Si es que tú fuiste mala I'm having trouble finding good places to stop because this performance is so great as a whole. So I do apologize if I'm breaking right in at your favorite spot. That's the terrible thing about reaction videos, I think. And so please make sure you go back and watch the original video. So I'm just recognizing now that he's singing in front of an entire full orchestra and a group of singers, a choir of people, so to speak. It's not just your normal three or four background vocalists, you've got a wall of voices behind him. So that's quite interesting to me. There's something I just love about the Latin culture with their music. I actually went to college in Miami, Florida, and coming from Colorado down to Miami, it was truly like moving to another country. It was so, so different. One of the things that was really fascinating to me was we would get called to do gigs at like the Fountain Blue Hotel or what have you, but they wouldn't even start until 11 o'clock at night. And because the Latin culture has the siesta in the afternoon, they don't even start to get out and party until late. And they go into the wee hours of the morning, if not 
all night sometimes. They dress beautifully. It's just, it's a real event, or it was. This has been quite a few years ago. You guys can continue to educate me if that's still the same, but there's something so fascinating about the culture. It's so very different from the North American culture, certainly, of, uh, yeah, we're just more buttoned up, I think. Definitely, we do not have anything like a siesta. I wish we did. We instead work all the time. <laughs> That's just the way it works here in this country. So it's, it's a really cool idea to think about this may be happening in that kind of time frame. And I don't know where this concert is happening, but I'm really enjoying the recording. I feel like it's such a clean recording. I'm really hearing everything so well, and so I appreciate that as well. <laughs> He is so incredible. His voice is amazing. It just, he sings like it's nothing. There's very little effort that's being put forth. He's obviously just a very natural singer. And he's got the moves, let me tell you. He really does. I thought I was watching Michael Jackson there for a minute. That was amazing. He might have been influenced by Michael. I mean, who wasn't really? It seems like it could be kind of back in that era. I wish I knew what year this was, that this was happening. One thing that I really love that he's doing is he's using the intervals to his advantage. He really is a great singer to emulate. So if you're a male vocalist, kind of in that tenor, baritone with some high notes space, it would be really fun to kind of sing along with him. Even if you didn't sing in Spanish, you were just basically using it as a vocal warm-up. He's doing a lot of walking up with his intervals and then hitting these really nice, clean, high, belting, mixy notes with a lot of presence, but not a lot of effort. And so in, for that reason, I think he'd be a really good one for you male vocalists to sing along with. <laughs> Oh my goodness, incredible. You know, something that you don't see very much anymore, certainly not right now, we don't see anything right now because of the pandemic. I'm saying that just for future generations who may watch this when I'm filming this in April of 2021 and we are still in various versions of lockdown around the world. And certainly it's very slow to see live music happening to this degree, but even you don't see a lot of that anymore where you've got all of these musicians, all of these singers. There's just so many rules now around unions and things cost so much that they don't want to have as many personnel 
for a musical experience like this necessarily. It depends on the budget, obviously, but it's something to note. It's like we need to really be aware, wow, this is a really cool thing that we're experiencing, seeing this many human beings making music on the stage at one time. It is quite something to see that large of a production happening. Um, and it is kind of gone by the wayside because they can make so much music happen digitally. They can make so many things happen with just people on keyboards. A lot of Broadway shows, it's three keyboards and a couple of horns and maybe a wind instrument or two, but you don't really see the magnitude. And certainly coming out of the pandemic, I'm sure we'll see less and less. Everything's going to be much more scaled down. So worth a mention, we need to just have a moment of appreciation for the sheer size of this production, of this one number. It is really quite something. So let's play this thing out to the end. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> That was delightful. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. So this song is long and I'm not going to take it through bit by bit like I normally do, but I just want to highlight a couple of his vocal moments that I really think are worthy of a second listen, like this one right here. <laughs> love the cry in his voice. I love how he shares his emotion with us. It's just a really cool moment there. But my favorite part of this video comes right here. for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Juan Gabriel. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on YZO.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, I want to take a moment to thank my Patreon patrons. You guys are so incredibly encouraging, so kind, so patient with me as I'm trying to figure out how to do everything and do it well. I so appreciate you and I wanted to make sure I gave you a shout out on this video. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye guys.